morning, guys. Um, Elmer, yeah. Um, when we start the six figure blueprint, the first thing they tell you is introduce yourself into the community. Tell us more about yourself so that we can get to know who you are. So this is uh, taking me a lot, really a lot of courage to make this video, but I decided it's time. I just have to. I made a mind shift. I changed my mindset and I said to myself, self, today is the day. So, okay, here I go. Rewind. And I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys as well. Rewind. Childhood years. Many, if not most of us, come from broken homes, parents who are divorced, abuse, whether sexually, um, emotionally, verbally, physically. We all, or most of us, most of us, fall victim to some other form of abuse. So you grow older and older and this vicious circle of playing the victim just continues. You enter high school. Your friends are all happy. They come, come there on a Monday morning, they smiling and happy and oh you know i had such a great weekend with my boyfriend and we did this and we did that now and then i was there thinking to myself guys i cannot talk with you i cannot take part in your conversation of happiness because i'm a victim so this continued a little bit fast forward, after matric, I went to the army, voluntarily for a year, completed my army training, and then I went to the police force for 17 years. I was in the police force, and then because I made a horrible, horrible decision, in a split second it cost me seven years of my life but during this entire period i remember now i'm still a victim it's everybody else's fault except mine everybody else is to blame except me that is what my mind is telling me. Everybody else. I hate everybody. I even hate myself. But throughout this entire period, through my childhood, through until I finished uh, um, my police career after 17 years, throughout that seven years, which I really really i screwed up bad bad horribly bad bad but throughout that entire period and at that stage i was um if i must quickly make figures say about 45. my mother stood by me through thick, thick and thin what did i do 
I was still playing the victim. I was still manipulating my mother by playing victim. Even though my mother taught me, sis, stand up, pull yourself together, get out there, face this world. You've got what it takes. I just said, no, I'm the victim. And I'll die a victim because it's the world's fault that I am what I am. Fast forward, my mother developed liver cancer. And I went through every phase, phase one, two, three, and four of that stages of her cancer. And for the re first time in my life, I saw what it is to fight. To fight to survive. Sorry, guys. So, then after that, um, on Valentine's Day 2016, my mother passed away. And I fell into a very, very, very deep depression. Very deep. I didn't want to live. Because my glue was gone. The one person who held me together, who picked me up every time I was playing victim, was gone. I just couldn't deal with it. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to give up on life. I've got nothing more to live for. I'm just going to stay in my room and, and lay here all day and wait until I die. Meanwhile, me and my partner, we've got a lot of dogs. We breed with Yorkies. We started scaling down. I got myself a meerkat. But now I'm on happy pills. I have to be on happy pills because my glue is gone. And then I got myself a little meerkat. His name was Marley. The 10th of uh, April last year, 2023. Three kids stoned him to death. Now I was just beginning to get out of this state of this 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 a period of remorsing and accepting my mother's passing. I was just getting out of that. And then they stoned my four-legged child, my comfort zone, because he was my comfort zone. He was my shadow. He was the one that kept me going. Not God. I even hated God. God, forgive me for saying this, but I mean, you know, it was that time. Okay, so I went ballistic. I went ballistic. And I asked God, I said, God, how much longer are you going to punish me? How much longer are you going to 
cause me to be a victim. I'm a victim of everything that's cruel in this world. How long are you going to keep on hammering me? I'm going to stay down there. Stay down there because that is where you belong. I'm having this spiritual battle with the Lord. Why? 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 So now, for eight months, I'm literally laying in my bed 24-7. The only time I'm standing up is when I go to the bathroom. My partner came in here many times and said to me, Armory, you are going to die. Get You are going to die. I said to her, just leave me alone because I'm not worth it. I don't belong. Why was I born in the first place? That is all the types of questions that I've asked myself, that I've bashed my head with. I've filled my head with so much negative <coughs> I don't want to say the word but anyway so during this time while I'm mourning uh, Marley my meerkat's uh, passing because that was a horrible death that was a horrible way to go I'm scrolling through TikTok and I'm playing video games and I'm just, I'm just, not I'm just Elmery or I'm just someone playing games or I'm someone just lying in bed, I'm just. And I scroll through TikTok and then, now you must remember eight months has passed now since Marley's passing. And I'm still on my happy pills. I have to take my happy pills every day. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. And while scrolling through TikTok, six figures with a two-hour working day. I thought, this is BS. All this stuff is BS. I've seen so many of them. They are all, if it's not an MLM, it's a SCAM, it's a pyramid scheme. It, this is all BS. And then this little voice inside my head, because now you must, you must also bear in mind that throughout these eight months now that I'm lying in my bed playing victim, God is working with me. Oh, he is working with me. And he is telling me, I'm going to get up. You are almost 60. Get up. Your life isn't over. I said to God, God, you leave me alone. You just leave me alone. I will get up at my own time, at my own pace. Okay, so I came across this video. Six figures, two-hour workday, awesome community, blah, 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 the whole entered my email address 
got an email, scrolled through it, I was, and I left it. Continued laying, continued playing victim, continued fighting with God, just leave me alone. Just let me die. But now I'm getting more interest in, in TikTok and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling. And, and this video of this six-figure blueprint pops up everywhere, everywhere by somebody else. It's not always the same person. And I said to myself, wait, let, let me just check. Let me just check this thing out. Anyway. The 21st of November, that morning, okay, now I was still laying in bed. I'm preparing myself to spend the rest of the day in bed. That morning, some little voice said to me, Alma, today's the day. Today, you are going to get up. And guys, it's like a tsunami that... Just went through me. It literally blew me in a in a lie down position into a sitting up straight position. And I found this girl. I said, "Hey, I'm interested. How does this thing work? I want to know this and this and this thing. I want to know about this six figure blueprint." And she answered all my questions. That was the 21st of November, 2023. Almost two months later, almost, I upgraded to the $150 package. The only time that I go and lay down is when I lay down just for one hour just to catch a quick nap because I must work. I must grind because I am obsessed now. I'm no longer a victim. I don't even know where those chains that kept me victim for almost 60 zero years. Those chains are broken. They're gone. And I'm coming like a bulldozer. I'm sweeping everything in my path. I'm sweeping Flat to the ground. You know, flat like a menorah blade. But I'm not sweeping them flat as, as in, a, in, a, in a bad sense. You know, in a good sense. You know, just get out of my way. I'm, I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I've got a vision. I've got a goal towards I'm working to. I've, I've, I've got a goal I want to reach X amount by March because I want to replace my partner's eye who is totally blind, 200% blind. I heard there was the first operation now recently in America where they had the first uh, successful uh, um, eye, eye implant and it worked. That is my goal. And I'm grinding towards that. I want to give her that eye because she's got a... She's got a vision of her own, but it's keeping her a little bit back because of her vision. But besides the fact 
I can't even remember where I was last before um, the dog started barking. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, they are my kids. Um, I can't tell each one of them, hey, you go and sit in that room, you there and you there. I can't. It's too many of them. But anyway, to get to the point, um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but yeah, within two months, I've upgraded to the $150 package. I've got a vision, and I told you guys what that vision is, what my goal is, and I'm grinding. Not my teeth. Not my teeth. My fingers are grinding on my cell phone, on my laptop, and I'm bubbling, and I'm loud, and I'm enthusiastic, and I'm motivated, and I'm consistent. I'm in front of this laptop 24-7, and you know what? I don't care because I want to. I want to. And my mind has changed, has made a 180 degree turn. I'm no longer a victim of nothing. I'm a go-getter. I'm a fighter. And I will fight till the very end. I will fight till I reach my goal. And I will even go beyond. So I'm, I'm going to make a follow-up video because this one is going to be too long. I, I will make a follow-up uh, up video regarding the effect that this six-figure blueprint had, uh, not the effect, the impact that this six-figure blueprint has made on my life. I just wanted to share you in a nutshell my story so um please subscribe to my youtube uh, channel and um i'll check you on the other side ciao ciao